Hello everybody. I'm running a recording of a video here. 1280 by 720 at 32-bit color. And let me just move this down a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. I go to screen resolution and advanced settings. One that pops up way over there. And then click monitor. Here's where you can change the colors. I'm at 32-bit. And I'm going to change it to 16-bit in just a minute and record another test. Okay, so there. And uh, I'm running XVID in the HD720. That's Jaworz XVID with the HD720. And I'm at a really high setting. I've got, I can't show you because I probably crashed the machine. Let's see if I can. Yeah, good. I'm at 20 frames, set keyframes every, but the important thing is capture frames every, every five milliseconds is the highest speed we can set it at, and playback rate at 200. So I'm pushing the processor as hard as I possibly can go, okay? And I'm getting a, and I've got XVID running at quality of one with the HD720. So I'm pushing as hard as I can get, and I'm getting about 16 frames a second, okay? So, uh, I've got the processor priority set to just normal. I find it really hardly makes any difference upping that priority. So uh, we'll finish this test and I'm going to change the uh, screen resolution to 16 and see what kind of change we get. Okie dokie. There we have it. Uh, and I'm now running a recording at 1280 by 720 and I've changed the number of colors to 16 bit. And look at that actual input rate, 35 frames a second. Okay, so we went to going over double. We were at about 16 frames per second. And just switching the bit rate uh, to 16 on the screen resolution increased it up to 36, which is quite radical. Okay, so again, just to show how that was done, let me... Uh, Right click on here, you go to screen resolution and click on advanced settings. And a little thing pops over here, go to your monitor setting, and that's where I set it right there. So it's now a 16 bit, which they call it high color, which is really adequate for most things. That's your original 16 million colors, okay, before they went to the 32 bit, which included transparency. It was, it's 24 bit color plus another eight bits for transparency and that's what lets all those fancy transparency effects work and so it turns off the transparency effects on your desktop uh, which actually lets your computer run a little bit faster using fewer resources okay so that's how you change it and as you see the uh, change is pretty darn radical I'm holding pretty solid with an actual input rate up there at 36 so hopefully the, that helps some people with a little inspiration of one thing they can do very quickly to uh, change their settings. You can mess around with the program options down here, recording thread priority, which you can set to above normal. Highest probably won't be any different than above normal. Don't ever go to time critical, everything will freeze. Um, but. Uh, that's pretty much it. You might even try hiding the flashing rectangle during the recording right here. And uh, just so there's one less process running, okay? And uh, run as few processes as you can. And that's, that's it. That's all the optimization I can suggest right now. Alrighty, so I hope that's helpful. Uh, please give me some feedback on this as to whether that works and whether you've discovered anything else that works. Now, mind you, I'm hardly ever going to actually push the thing with those settings um, at the uh, with the you know capture every five and playback rate at 200 you do have to go into some kind of converter and change those settings to be something in a media player can actually deal with in many cases so I don't know because uh, some media players won't even touch the camp studio recordings made with that 200 frames per second playback rate but that's no big deal. You just go into Media Coder or something like that and, uh, or uh, any video converter. Convert the video and at a different frame rate. And that's all. Okay, so I hope that's helpful. Take care.